So, um, you said you were a mechanical engineer. How did you transition to the, you know, security field? I'm very curious. What was the turning point? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. And I think I got really lucky. Um, I I went to a very small school when I was younger in India, and they had a lot of focus on computer science education. I don't think it was. intentional because you know the value of this field was i don't think it was known at that point mm, and yeah i i started taking programming classes in late elementary school and by the time i was in high school i was like writing a lot of code in c++ and c and you know learning i'd learned like two or three programming languages by that time so i had a fair base in this um and then also like my school gave me the opportunity to participate in the national informatics olympiad and i was part of like you know a group that got selected you know for the nationals so it was really cool and i knew that i really liked it but you know at that time there are different concerns that people have um i guess i didn't see the potential of that field at that time and i thought that i i would be like a code monkey and i wasn't super interested in that um So that's why I went and became a mechanical engineer. But obviously, once I did that, I was I really I didn't enjoy it anywhere close to how much I enjoyed writing code. Um, so I guess <laughs> after that is very tricky, right? Because you have a degree, which is kind of like a foundational piece that everyone asks for. So I didn't I didn't know what to do. But thankfully, my parents were very encouraging. Um, So slowly, what I started to do was like I started building some small software for the mechanical engineering company that I was working for. Um, that gave, that did two things for me. One of the things was that it kind of allowed me to slowly move back into uh, the, the field that I wanted and confirm that hey, I do like this. It's not going to be, um, you know, a dilettante kind of thing where I'm going back and forth between things and not deciding what I want to do. so it told me that i really did like doing it and that i was good at it you know that company for that company like i was the only one who was able to do that so it was a very valuable skill i realized so that gave me some confidence to invest deeper in it um which is when i applied for a masters uh, to georgia tech and in the us the education system is very much more flexible than it is in india so i only have to show some core skills and they will allow me to take a masters degree in a totally different field from my bachelor's degree So and as long as I was able to show like you know I had the basic knowledge of programming and like networks and all of that um you know they were okay with <laughs> me being in this computer science course so that was pretty neat um and and when I was there that's when I kind of focused more deeper and deeper into security because I was like okay this is the most exciting part of computer science that I care about where I won't necessarily like be writing code all the time um but I'll be doing exciting things 